Hello, hello everybody, welcome back. So my husband had a birthday a couple weeks ago and I decided to make for him a couple of his favorite Mexican treats. And I've shared before how my husband um, came over from Mexico when he was 15. So even though he likes American food, Mexican is obviously, um, you know, his go-to and his favorite. So he has a, a few um, like Mexican treats and Mexican favorites. And two of those are flan and then horchata. Anytime we go anywhere, he always asks for um, horchata, which is like a Mexican, um, it's like a rice milk drink um, or rice water, I think is what they call it sometimes. Anytime it's like um, his birthday or a special gathering, he asks for flan which if you don't know it's basically like a custard um of some kind and so i got really brave and i decided to make it for his birthday dinner um and so basically this video is just me showing you my first attempts at making flan and horchata and both of them i mean it, it turned out a lot better than what i thought but they're both kind of tricky to make um, you'll see in the video but um, the first time I made a flan I didn't record it but I do show you the results um, and the funny thing is is I did this method the first method of making flan the custard in the oven and it was supposed to take like, like an hour and it ended up taking three hours um, and so I was getting really frustrated that it wasn't baking it you know like it was just not turning out it was still really watery so I took the foil off um, of the flan and then the top like burned <sighs> so I was like this was a horrible idea but funny enough um, it actually ended up turning out really good which you'll see in the video and um, oddly enough uh, Miguel and his mom actually liked the baked version even though it was like a little bit burnt and funky um, they liked that version better um, than the steamed version which is the one I show you in this video I actually prefer the steamed version I think I like the texture better and also uh, it's so much easier to make so um, anyway I am excited to show you guys this video it's very um, relaxed and a little bit slower paced than some of the other videos that I make. So I hope that you guys enjoy it and that you learn something. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So the two things I wanna make today are horchata and flan. <laughs> and, um, I made a flan yesterday and it did not turn out so good. <laughs> so. I'm a little nervous about trying it again, but um, I feel like the horchata will be pretty easy, but I thought the flan would be easy too. But anyway, I have one and a half cups of long grain white rice. I have looked up like a million recipes on this and watched so many videos. Um, and I will have a few of those links below, the ones that I've watched, but um, I'm just gonna clean the rice and then I'm gonna put it in a bowl with four cups of hot water and some cinnamon. And then that's all we're gonna do with this today. And then tomorrow, maybe later tonight, depends how I'm feeling, but probably tomorrow we will finish making this. So this is just four cups of really hot water. And I have three cinnamon sticks. They're like medium to small. They're really not that big. So, um, oh dear, can we do this? Okay, there we go. Okay. 
Okay, guys, so do not judge, okay? <laughs> but this is the flan that I was talking about that I made. So I'm gonna tell you all this, the mistakes that I did and it's gonna look really rough. So don't judge it yet, <laughs> okay? <clears throat> Doesn't it look beautiful? Um, so basically I made the flan, like I did all the stuff. I made the caramel, I made the custard and it would not bake. I put it in the oven at 350, put it in a, like the hot water bath under it. It just would not cook. It was just like water the whole time. It ended up being in there for like three hours. I took the water bath out. I took the foil off, which is why it did this disgusting thing here. But anyway, it is what it is. I've learned some lessons from it, but let's just see how it turns out. If it flips over nicely, I don't know. Let's see. That's not so bad. It doesn't look the best, but it definitely doesn't look too bad. What do you guys think? The other thing is like, I haven't eaten like a lot of a lot of this dessert. My husband loves it, my family loves it, but I've never been like a huge fan of it. Like the syrup looks nice on top and like, I don't know exactly what the texture is. Probably a little, I mean, it's probably overdone, I, I would say. But it's, I mean, I think overall, considering everything, it's not bad. Okay, so let's try a bite of this and see if it's any good. I mean, I guess it's hard for me to tell. That's actually really good. This is the part that bothers me, that like funky burnt stuff on the bottom, which was originally on the top. Okay, so my pan is heated to like a medium to medium low. And I'm just gonna add the sugar right in the pan to make this like caramel. So. I thought this was really strange <clears throat> and I'm like, don't we need water? Do we need butter? Do we need oil? I mean, I don't know. What do we need? But no, it's just sugar. That's it. I'm definitely not a pro at this. I have practiced. This is my third time doing this now. So I don't feel like I am really um, eligible to give much advice. The only thing I would say is just watch it really closely. And as soon as it's almost all melted and amber, turn the heat off and very quickly after that, put it in the pan because otherwise it will burn. Um, and from what I've read and what I've watched, um, you don't really, like once it starts melting, like you don't wanna really, really want to like just start mixing it all at once. <clears throat> and I'll try to demonstrate what I mean when it starts melting. So what I have done is kind of find the spot that it's melting. And I did use a different pan last time, so I hope that this works out. You can see in this area, it's where it's starting to melt first. Um, and so I'm just gonna start like mixing this area first and then slowly incorporating the other sugar <clears throat> into this pile. You will see what I mean here in a minute. <clears throat> okay, so now that it's all almost completely dissolved, I turn the heat off and it's like 10, 30, 30 seconds away from burning. And this is like a really pretty color. So I'm going to leave it like this and I'm going to get it all down to the side and I'm going to pour it into my pan immediately. <laughs> this was the hardest part for me because it just hardens so quickly it burns so quickly um, and it's so hot so 
it's there's just you have to work really fast like even right now it's like getting so thick <laughs> So I mentioned I want to try a different method with making the flan this time. So I am going to steam it. So I'm just putting five cups of water in here. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to add five eggs. So I just put in a can of evaporated milk and a can of sweetened condensed milk and you saw the five eggs. I'm going to be putting in two cups of heavy whipping cream and now I'm getting a little nervous that this blender may be a little too small. Hopefully not. Two tablespoons of vanilla extract. A lot of the recipes suggest doing like the Mexican blend one, which I could not find. Um, so regular, we'll just have to do. The last thing I'm gonna do, and also something I did not do yesterday, is put a little bit of lime juice in here. Let's hope and pray this does not make a huge mess. Oh boy. was just like overflowing with the blender so I did as much as I could but I didn't want to waste you know any of this so um, I didn't get as thick as I wanted it to get but I think it's a little bit thicker than the one I did yesterday so hopefully hopefully it'll be okay and I think it will you know what I'm gonna strain it one more time going hold this fit there we go and then that way it'll be easier to pour into our pan it is nice and foamy i don't know if that's a good thing or not i hope it is ah I'm gonna wrap this really tight. And the lady who steams her flan says to put it in the steam, um, turn it down, turn the heat down to the lowest setting, cover it, and don't touch it for an hour and 25 minutes. Okay, my dollar work. All right, it's the moment of truth. It's been an hour and 25 minutes. The timer just went off. Be careful with all that water coming off the top. Uh, I'm so excited and so nervous at the same time. I really hope this turned out. So let's take a look and see. To... Hmm. Oh. I think it's really close. I'm wondering if it's too... 
I don't know. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. It smells so good. Um, okay, well, I'm going to put the foil back on and then maybe it'll like cook it through just a little bit more. I think it's fine the way it is. And then when it's completely cooled down, then I'll put it in the fridge. But I think it turned out really good. <laughs> Jojo? Yeah. I think they're in the garage. Go in the garage. What? All right, everybody, so that's that. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you learned something along the way. And until the next time, I'll see you then. Bye.
Feliz